Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 13th of 2022. Well, it is titled the Milky Way's black hole. So what do we see here? Well, we see two separate images and one inset on the other. The main larger image is actually an image of the central portion of our galaxy. And that is imaged using x ray and infrared light to look through to the central regions of our galaxy. And here we're looking to just the very central about 10 light years sorry about seven light years worth uh, of our galaxy. Now our galaxy is 100,000 light years across. So we are looking at just a very central portion. We can see the number of stars concentrated there. And when we see this, you know, the nearest star to us is about four light years away. So there are lots of stars here compacted in with the distance between our sun and its nearest stellar companion. So we can see again how much more material there is crushed together at the central. Now here we're just looking outside and seeing a lot of individual stars, gas clouds and material that's there. However, the inset is an image taken by the Event Horizon Telescope showing the black hole at the center of the Milky Way. And we can see that as to where that is that point down at the center. In this case, we are looking at something that is 10 light minutes across. Now a light year is the distance travel light travels in one year. A light minute is the distance that light travels in one minute. And it takes about eight light minutes for sun for light to get from our sun to Earth. So that would give you an idea of about how big this is across about the size about the distance between our, our Earth and our sun. So we're looking very, very small. We're looking at things that are the size of the inner very inner portions of our solar system. And we can make measurements of this here. We're actually seeing this shadow of the event horizon. So that dark portion at the middle represents the black hole with at about 4 million times the mass of our own sun. Now the only way you can compact 4 million times the mass of our sun into something that small is to have it be a black hole. There is nothing else that could have that much mass in that small of a space. And through measurements of motions of stars and other measurements, we can determine that it is about 4 million times the mass of our sun. So the Event Horizon Telescope has begun now been able to image the very central regions essentially seeing the shadow of our black hole at the center of our galaxy. And we see that here in the inset image looking in the radio wavelengths used by the Event Horizon Telescope. So that was our picture of the day for May 13th of 2022. It was titled the Milky Way's black hole. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be ice halos by moonlight. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.